All right, so previously we covered the detail labels plus the tooltip settings. In this video, we're gonna go through the toolbar plus the coloring options. So first things first, we're gonna go through the toolbar settings. For that, I'm actually gonna go to the training view and I'm gonna create a new instance of a donut visual. So let's just go here, create it, resize it, disable the background and title. And as for the setup, I'm gonna go for department on first level and my value is gonna be the payout. There we go. Now, if you go into the formatting options, right here, you can see that we have toolbar, which is gonna be disabled by default. So this is something that you have to enable if you wanna use it. Once you enable it and open it up, you can see that we have three buttons that we can use and one additional feature that you can enable. Now, the feature is dark mode, which essentially allows you to convert all the toolbar items into a lighter version of them. So right now you can see they're in sort of a light gray, Plus, when it's active, you can see it becomes a little bit darker. Whereas if I enable dark mode, it goes into very light gray. So this is typically we use when you have a darker background within your report. Now I'm going to disable that one. There we go. And I'm going to go through all the buttons. So zoom out is the first action item. The zoom out allows you to go one step up in the hierarchy. To display this, I'm actually going to go back to the setup and I'm gonna add region as my second level. And I'm gonna add title as the third one. There we go. Now going back to these ones, I'm just gonna enable so you have all them visible. So now when I click on marketing, I go down one level, I click on USA to go to the next one and select senior marketing manager. So you can see I have a full list of filters. Clicking on zoom out takes me up with each click one single level. So that's one way to get back to the initial state. Now, the back button, which is another item that you can enable, it works slightly differently. It's essentially a movement one step back in the navigation. So one thing you need to be careful of is, for example, right now we did zoom out, so we went upwards, right? So if I click on back now, it's gonna do a drill down. So it's just something to keep in mind because in certain situations for newer users, it might cause some confusion. Now, when I'm back here, one thing that I wanted to quickly show as well is I'm gonna select Senior Marketing Manager, and you can see that's a full extent of filters, right? If I click on Reset, it's gonna take me back to the initial view, to the top level, and it's gonna clear all the filters. So that is the capability of the Reset. It allows you to really quickly clear all the active filters from the visual, plus it takes you back to the initial state. Now, when you're working with just one visual, it might not seem that impressive. But the main power for this feature comes when you're doing actually some cross chart filtering. So you're working with multiple visuals. What this allows you to do is to clear the filters from one visual whilst keeping all the other filters active on the rest of the visuals. So, but enough about the toolbar, let's go into the coloring options. So I'm gonna close the toolbar and I'm gonna open up fill color settings and scroll down a bit more so you can see these category colors. Now, by default, what we have here is a solid fill, so that's a, just a plain 2D color that you have there. You can add, of course, also a gradient to a derived color, which is essentially just a shadow on top of it. Plus, you have your lightness, hue, and saturation to play around with to get more interesting results. Afterwards, we can also transition into a single color. The difference between the previous one and this one is that you can define the color to which you wanna create that gradient on top of a visual. Now, what I'm gonna do is set it to be a gradient to derive color. And I'm gonna be working on with the next feature, which is the base fill color. The base fill color, essentially what it allows you to do is to choose a base color for the whole donut chart, where it's gonna start off with the most saturated color for the biggest slice, and it's gonna go downwards in value and also in the lightness of it. So essentially you have a gradient feel with just one single click. This is gonna be really useful for those cases where, like I said, you have multiple charts and you wanna reference a single series. So let's just say that payout, for example, was the series that I used here, and I would have something like a combo visual next to it, so I can reference the same color so it's easier for the users to create that mark. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the toolbar and the coloring options, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.